Hi everyone, welcome back to the Benton Knitter. So this week we are going to do a review of some yarn soap. But before I just wanted to mention, uh, most if not all yarns that I've seen have instructions on like how to maintain your yarn. Um, like this one is, machine wash cold, tumble low dry. Usually these guys know what they're talking about when they're caring for their yarn. They've tasted, I'm sure they've tested it a lot. So always keep in mind what they say first. Um, if you don't have instructions, usually um, hand washing is working, works well. And this one com comes into uh, the laundry uh, soap. I got some from Darn Good Yarn and I started using it on some of the projects that I've been blocking uh, recently, which uh, just as an experiment. So it's just quick, uh, quick and easy. Um, the nice thing about yarn laundry soap is that it's specifically made for projects and seems to be a lot more delicate than other some other laundry detergents are which is good because of course you want to spend all this time and money on your project you want to take care of it so that way it, you can use it for as long as you can um but it's just add one tablespoon spoon of soap to 16 ounces of water submerge and, and rinse and air dry pretty simple easy to use um a little bottle like this will last you a little while depending on how much stuff you have of course um but i'm actually pretty impressed with this uh just because one, uh, this the one that they gave me is sandalwood. Even though I could uh, smell it once I was putting some in the water mixture, once it air dried, there was no smells whatsoever. Sandalwood or any other smells that the yarns previous had, it was completely neutral. So that way, um, for people that are sensitive to smells and stuff like that, this helped take care of it, which is uh, nice um, because I know some yarn not a great smelling so this can help with this but also um some of the yarn that i use this on is actually some cheaper yarn let's just say not from darn good yarn but just some cheaper yarn from like michael's and it felt a little rough and you know a little can be a little scratchy um this actually helped smooth it out a little bit and make it at least feel softer but just because like there's a lot of oils in this so i'm sure that helped to kind of Take care of the scratchiness and the smooth like help the smoothness of the yarn which is actually uh pretty cool and pretty helpful so if you have something that's a little scratchy um you might want to just get some of this to use to help smooth that out which was i was not expecting and was pretty cool and helpful um i will put a link in the description below in case any of you are interested in getting some but i would at least check it out um usually these are usually um, wherever you go and get laundry soap or your own laundry soap, they're pretty cheap and they'll last a while. So it's worth checking out at least once for your projects. Um, just because, especially you, if you have some more expensive items, some more delicate items, these could help wash them out. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. out. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description below and let me know if you've had any experience with laundry soap or your laundry soap more specifically. And I'll see you next week. Bye.